Welcome back to JR Pro Shop Vids, everyone. Today we got Mitch back. He's gonna throw the Emerge Hybrid. Now he doesn't have the Emerge Pearl, but he's gonna throw the one Encore against it. One of his favorite hybrid balls of last season. He's got a lot of use out of it. So we're gonna see how this one compares. Now, how this one compares to the original Emerge, everything is exactly the same. Same core, same cover stock base. We just have a little bit of solid in this one rather than all Pearl. It's half and half, half solid, half Pearl. Other than that, pretty similar to the original Emerge, so we should see a little earlier roll, a little smoother roll out of this one versus the original, and we're gonna see how Mitch likes it throwing against the one Encore. So I think this ball is gonna look really good on long, so that's where we're gonna start. We're gonna start on 44 foot titanium, and about halfway through the vid, we're gonna switch over to 40 foot mercury, and we're gonna see how these balls roll on a kind of a medium-ish pattern. Maybe they might be too sharp on that, we'll see. Mitch, let's bowl. What's up guys, Mitchell's back again, and today I have the brand new Emerge Hybrid from Ebonite. Didn't really throw the first Emerge, so I'm kind of going into this blind a little bit, but big fan of the, the one remix hybrid. So we'll see how this compares. Um, yeah, two ball that I find myself using a lot. So today we're bowling on a 44 foot board pattern as well as a 40 foot board pattern. So I'm gonna start on the 44 foot. There's been a couple games on it, and I think this is the starting point of where this ball will start to look good. So yeah, we'll see how it uh, we'll see how it reacts with a couple games on this longer pattern. Oh, messenger off the bat. Can't complain. Definitely went a little bit longer than I was anticipating. So I think with that ball, rather than move right, I'm just gonna slow down. I always feel like if I move right with a quicker ball or a cleaner cover, uh, I start to get a little bit over under because you're moving into more friction. So rather than do that, I'm just gonna slow down in the same spot. Oh, ball just sends pins everywhere apparently. It wasn't the best shot, a little bit inside, but I, I just liked how it read a little bit better there. When I was lowering my speed there, actually, I could have probably moved one left. Typically when I slow down as opposed to move right, um, it's almost worth moving one left in addition to that, uh, a little bit of slowing down. Yeah, so that's the move I'm talking about. Just one or two left and slow down the speed, even off a light hit like the first one. Okay, so now I'm gonna switch to the One Encore Remix. Now this was the subsequent release to the One Remix Solid. Um, this is just that HK22 hybrid cover on it. And I was a huge fan of the One Remix, and you guys can see that review I did here on that one. Um, felt this was a great one-two punch with that one, with uh, the One Remix Solid. Yeah, that one looks a little bit more angular than the Emerge Hybrid, at least off first and impressions. So I'm just gonna try, I'm probably gonna move one left and then just try and roll it a little bit more. See how that works, hopefully it doesn't flat 10. Oh, it's left. Oh, I missed left so it looked all right. Well, I'll throw one more with that. Yeah, that one seems just a little bit cleaner through the fronts and more angular down lane as opposed to the Emerge. Okay, let's go back to the Emerge and we're just gonna move left and uh, yeah, get deeper into the pattern. So let's just move three left off the last strike I threw with it. Um, again, it's a longer pattern, so I'm trying to keep my speed a little slower. And it makes the corner not too bad. It's nice to see. Personally, I'm a bigger fan of where this ball is rolling up as opposed to the one remix. I felt like, or the one encore, uh, it just felt like it was a little too angular down lane versus this one's just picking up maybe seven to 10 feet sooner. And personally, I'd rather see that. Okay, let's just do another two. I think if I can just keep my speed slow, it's gonna make the corner. Oh, maybe. Okay, let's move over to the 40 foot pattern where we can see uh, just a little bit more reaction out of the ball. Um, this left lane definitely hooks a little bit more, so let's see how it reacts on it. All right, halfway through the vid, and as you guys can tell, I'm not sporting the t-shirt like I normally do. I actually got a jersey on today from uh, my good friend it's at Rift Apparel. Uh, so the question today is for you guys, do you have your own jersey? And if you do, where did you get it from? And if you don't, you should definitely check out riftapparel.com and Okay, so now on the left lane, we got 40 foot Mercury, which is uh, the challenge pattern used 
on the house shot here, right? So I'm gonna stand in the same spot that I kind of like my ball reaction on the longer pattern, and I'm just gonna show you guys how much more this ball reacts on four feet less. So we move in left. So off that shot, no fooling around. Move in, I think seven, which probably be the sweet spot. All right, we can keep going. So let's move another three off the first seven. So 10 total since we switched to this line. Nice. Yeah, I'm just a big fan of where that ball is starting to roll up. It's not too far down lane, which is personally a shape that I don't like to see. It's reading right in the middle around that 35, 40 foot mark. Just giving me a predictable ball motion. So I'll see if we can double off that one. Yeah, I mean, this ball is giving me plenty of shape down lane, and it's, uh, well, once I got far enough left, it's clearing the fun's just fine. Okay, so now let's throw a few shots with uh, the one Encore. Again, same style of cover as the Emerge Hybrid, so that HK22 Hybrid, and we'll just see how that reacts in the same spot. My prediction is gonna be cleaner. Yeah, so same result, but you can just see that drastic change in ball motion. That one just wants to get way snappier off that same spot. Clear the front slightly better, but just way jumpier off the friction. So we'll move another two left with this. Oh, still a strike, but again, not ideal ball motion that I'm looking for right now. Okay, so let's finish it up with the Emerge Hybrid again. So far, pretty big fan, actually. I'm a player that likes to see the ball uh, roll up kind of soon. So, so far, I am a fan of this. Yeah, that's crazy, actually. It kind of makes you think it's gonna roll out or flat 10, but it just dives right through the pins pretty nicely. Just for kicks, let's give it the Goots Loft. Let's wrap it up. All right guys, just got done throwing some shots with the brand new Emerge Hybrid from Ebonite and threw it up against uh, one of my favorite balls, the One Encore. And although I thought these balls are gonna be pretty similar, they're actually quite different. And as opposed to one taking the other spot, I actually think they complement each other in the same arsenal. This one rolls just a little bit sooner, which again, complements uh, the One Encore and the fact that the One Encore was just a little bit cleaner and a little bit more angular down lane. So this ball would be a step right above that, uh, in my arsenal at least. I think the two patterns that we use this ball on were perfect for it. It's probably not a ball that I would use on something shorter than 40 feet, because I think it would just be a little bit too snappy, a little bit too uncontrollable with that uh, shinier cover sock. So I think the two patterns we use it on, uh, it really showed it straight. Strengths. Again, a 40 foot pattern and a 44 foot pattern. These are two patterns that I would probably use it on uh, games three, four in a block when the fronts start to go a little bit and I have to get out of my solid asymmetrical ball. Uh, this is the perfect step down, I think. And then after this one, I'd probably switch to a ball like the one Encore. Um, and then from there, you know, the typical symmetrical pearl ball. Personally, I think this ball is gonna be super useful on tour. You know, we find ourselves getting left pretty often. And uh, when we do, there's still a lot of oil in the middle of the lane. So a ball like this, that's cleaner to the front, um, but still rolls up in the middle of the lane, I think is gonna be perfect for, uh, for my game. So if you feel like you find yourself in that kind of situation where uh, you need to get left, but not quite into the pearl symmetrical balls, you need something with still a little bit of teeth in it, then this might be the ball for you. Again, thanks for watching and don't forget to answer our question down below. Do you guys have your own bowling jersey? And if you do, where do you get it from? And if you don't have one, make sure to check out riftapparel.com and you get a jersey like mine. Thank <laughs> you.